So we move on to the final Europa League game of this group, a group that we've topped, we've won, we're through to the knockout stages of the Europa League. I'm personally happy about that because I want to win it. Um, that was the aim. We got that wrapped up. Even though we did lose in our last game, we still topped the group. Now, tomorrow night, we have Barte Borisov at the Emirates. It's going to be dead. Let's be honest, the stadium's going to be empty, the fans will probably be empty, and we'll probably draw a boring nil-nil game or something stupid. Uh, personally, yes, I'll be watching. I won't be going to this one, because um, I'll be straight up with you. I can't be asked. I honestly cannot be asked to go all the way down there for a group game that basically means nothing to us. Now, although it means nothing to us, it does mean something to Barté Borisov they can still qualify out of this group. So they're going to be bang up for it. I'm sure the fans that travel over will be bang up for it. And they'll probably bring the atmosphere with them. Anyway, I'm going to rifle through my 1-11. to Before I do that, make sure you smash the like button. That always helps me along my way. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And turn notifications on. Anyway, I'm going with David Ospina in goal. He's back from injury. He's been back for a few weeks now. And he is going to be in goal for this game. Right back, I'm going with Matthew Dibucci. Um, the three games he's played in this competition, or this season, um, I think he played in the cup game. I can't really remember, to be honest with you. Um, I think he played against Norwich. I may be wrong. I'm sure somebody will point that out. But the three games he has played this season, he has looked actually really good. Which surprises me. But there you go. Um, I said it in a previous video. I do think that that's an area we really need to go and strengthen in January because Bellerin basically knows he's getting picked every week. That'll start showing in performances and eventually he will slip back into his ways that he did at the back end of last season. Anyway, on the left-hand side, I am going with Maitland-Niles. He was actually sat next to Wenger in the press conference today. Um, they stuck it on him and asked him which position is his favoured position, centre mid or left back. Um, Arsene Wenger answered that question. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's nice that he's actually getting out there and doing a little bit of media work as, as well. So that'll only boost his confidence in front of the camera. That'll boost his confidence overall. And he has played well in the games I've seen him this season. And especially in this competition, I thought away to Barté, he was probably our best player. Um, the three centre-backs for this game, I am going with Per Mertesacker Asaka as the middle of the three. I am going with Callum Chambers one side and Rob Holding the other. Now, these two players really need to step up to the plate. Yes, I know it's only in the Europa League game, but these players should be knocking on the door for the likes of Mert Asaka, um, sorry, Mustafi and Koscielny. They should be trying to push their way into this team because they've both got good talent, they're good on the ball, they're physical, why aren't they getting games? Well, anyway, on to midfield. I am going with Joe Willock. I thought another one who was fantastic in Barté. Um, next to him, I am going with Francis Coquelin. Now, Francis Coquelin really does need a good game. He's been bang average in the games that he's played this season, and he could be shipped out in the January window, if not the summer. So really hope he pulls his finger out of his ass because with the amount of games we got coming up over the Christmas and New Year period, we're really going to need to rotate the squads. Now in front of them, I am going with Reese Nelson. His favoured position, let's see what he can do. It's a free for all game, a free pass for everyone, but at the same time, I want to see all of these players trying to dig in and trying to impress the manager for the away game at Southampton. Next to him, I am going with Jack Wilshere, fresh off of the back of his ice skating without injury. Um, he's going straight into my team. Now, the striker for this game, I did toy with Welbeck for a little bit. Then I thought maybe Giroud. Um, I'm actually going to go with Eddie and Ketia. Um, I'd give the kid a run out. He's just signed a new contract with Arsenal. Um, I think that was today. 
may be wrong, that could have been yesterday, but he has now signed a professional contract with Arsenal Football Club, and yeah, he must be buzzing his tits off the fella. So I'd give him a go, give him 60 minutes, and then maybe bring a Welbeck or a Giroud onto this. Um, there we go. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe, like, share. I'm going with a boring game, and I am going with an Arsenal victory 2-0. Laters, peeps.